Kitty can swim in the sky. She can fly beneath the sea. What am I doing? Why am I doing? How do I always end up in the bathroom? Perhaps I'm unconsciously attracted to this place. After all, it is where shit is produced. If I stuck my hand in this toilet, I would only be continuing this cycle of shit that I've made for myself. And just like the flush of a toilet, that little speck of dignity that I still have will go down the drain. Chogoken Hello Kitty. Why is it a thing, and why do I have it? Now to answer the first question, I don't fucking know. And as for the second question, I don't fucking know. Well, that's not necessarily true. I'd like to think of this video as a callback to one of my earliest reviews. Hey, my name's Jobby, and today we're taking a look at the Reveltech Hello Kitty Black Skull version. Shut up, you obnoxious cunt. And if for some reason you're not aware of what Hello Kitty is, may I suggest the painting and the sculpting on this figure is great. So the concept of this figure is Hello Kitty as a giant robot. And the details on this thing definitely reflect that. So there's actually a few different versions of this figure, but I decided to go with the blue version. Red version was a little too red, and that's just unreasonable. This blue and yellow color combination just feels like classic Hello Kitty to me. And if there's anything that I care about more than anything else in the world, it's the legitimacy of Hello Kitty designs. <laughs> I still don't know why I bought this figure. Now what issue I have about this figure is that the bright white glossy paint stains easily. Pieces of lint, dust, toilet, it will get stuck to this figure. So it has to be consistently wiped. One of the first things I notice when taking this thing out of its box is that it's heavy as that's because most of the figure is made out of die-cast metal. One of the few parts that's not made out of metal are the fists. I mean, because if they were, I don't think they would be able to launch this far. Yes, Shagokan Hello Kitty has a rocket punch. Other plastic parts include this bow and this transparent strip. And as you can see, she's got a little pilot. That pilot is actually accessible. Ah, it's pretty cute. But this... Not as cute. So what this ass infection allows you to do is plug it into the hole in the seat. And it also allows you to plug it into this included stand. And between my last Chogokan review and now, I still haven't learned how to read Malaysian. But thanks to you beautiful people in the comments, I've learned that this says Chogokan. And you can plug the figure right into there, and that's an awesome display. Now coming back to the gaping head, there's a button on the dashboard. And if you push this button, Things quickly go to hell. Beautiful engineering to allow this eye switching gimmick, but holy fuck does it look kinda creepy. But let's go even deeper into the depths. Hello Kitty. They so dead. I never imagined what an angry Hello Kitty would look like, but now I don't have to. Now the base, stand, whatever you wanna call it, it's all well and good. But if you look underneath it, you'll see that it contains a lot of shit. I wouldn't call these accessories so much as necessary parts for the transformation. Did I say transformation? Ooh, I haven't had the chance to pull out this song for a while. Here we have the swimming mode. It's all right. I always thought it looked pretty weird in the box. And in person, not much better. So this is not the only mode in Hello Kitty's arsenal. <laughs> And here we have the flight mode. Not that much different from the swimming mode other than the wings on the back. The thing about the transformations on this figure, they're kinda tacked on. It's like the main idea of the figure was just to have a robotic Hello Kitty, but they needed to spice it up a little bit to keep the figure from being a glorified paperweight. However, I will give them credit for the fact that these peg holes actually look like thrusters. That's pretty cool. So let me get this figure back to its robot mode and let's get into the... Good stuff. <laughs> what am I doing? Why am I going to do what I'm about to do? Is there a point when this running gag stops running? 
becomes old, crippled, withered away? Do I swivel not because I genuinely find it funny, but because it's what the people expect? It's not a Jabi the Hong video if it doesn't have a swivel in it, right? We're all gonna die anyway. SWIVEL HERE! Head looks up, but that's more for the transformation. Arm rotates forwards and backwards. Leg rotates forwards and a little bit back. And that's about it. Not very much posability at all, but it is enough to pull off one of Hello Kitty's iconic poses. She's actually got little wheels, so you could roll her around like this. And there's these little grooves for the base made specifically for these wheels. That's a little spark of joy in my life. Despite being Hello Kitty as a giant robot, the figure itself, not that giant. Here's Chogokan Hatsune Miku, Chogokan Monster Hunter, Soul of Chogokan Gaogai Gar, and Madoka Godzilla Prime. Overall, this figure's alright. It's a good looking figure with tacked on alternate modes and very limited posing options. So get this figure if you're a hardcore Hello Kitty fan who also happens to be a giant robot fan, or you're an uncreative YouTuber desperate for content for his failing toy review channel. So in my last video, I said it would be the end of this weird influx of Digimon videos. Well, I like.